Um, hi everybody. Last time I was talking about the different lenses I use for the Sony Alpha Nex, for the Sony Alpha 6000, um, and I gave a little bit an example of different lenses. And by the way, there are, I'm using also these contact lenses, contacts. Uh, this is from this is a called size lens, uh, and this is from the Contax G camera. This system, and the problem at this adapters, if you use adapter like this, is uh, that these lenses don't have any uh, ring outside on the lens to adjust um, um, to focus. Yeah, you cannot focus with the lens itself. The original had been focused on the camera, but you have to focus here with this adapter ring. And these rings, I found in internet, they are really quite good. I like them. They are cheap and they run. Now they run smoothly. But when I bought them, one of them was a l was nearly okay, but another one was really hard to turn. So I think the fat what is inside was too old to dry it out or whatever. So and I explained in the last um, little clip uh, how to open this, and I want to show you this time you can open this we make it together I make a little demonstration how to open this how it looks like inside okay what we need is this is the adapter for the Contax G lens to the Sony Nex system the E-mount uh, we need a tiny little screwdriver with a Phillips head a tiny little Phillips head here put it in. Then uh, we need these um, Q-tips, these uh, cotton sticks. Um, we need a tweezer, a nice tweezer, and uh, at the end some, some fat. This is some, some grease, uh, what is used for um, ball bearings. Okay, so let's try. The first step is we we open here, careful, there are four screws and we open these four screws with the screwdriver. And before you really um, put out the last screw, be careful that you hold it in your hand and Keep it keep it flat so that this doesn't doesn't jump away. Then uh, you can carefully open this 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 metal ring. Uh, it's possible to open this way. I take the tweezer and go here underneath and open this careful. And you can see here is a little ring inside. This metal ring. If it comes off, that's not not a problem. You find exactly how it you can you can pull it back. But uh, if you be lucky, that the ring stays this way. And here on the surface, you on the surface you take some of this fat of this grease, um, something like this. Must not be much more. And you start to uh, put a little bit here on the surface. I've done this, so I do don't do it a second time. But you do a little bit here on the surface and uh, put some of this fat very careful here on the surface. Uh, it moves slowly toward the, the edge into this ring, into this outside ring. And, uh, and then you have it really uh, good supported. Okay, if this is done, be careful to close it again, that's that's nearly everything. What can happen? It can happen that this ring goes off. Yeah, you see, this is removable. This is the this is the whole ring. But don't be afraid if this happened. Then you see here the part of the button. I turn it a little bit around. Here is the part of the button. You can you can put it back easily. The ring has has no direction. It goes in any direction here in. This on this side, there is a little uh, a little screw, and you can pull it out and put it upside down. There's be careful. There's a little spring, but normally this is so in fat that you don't 
get rid of it, you don't lose it. Uh, and you put this, this here in. Careful, yeah. And with this screw, um, this screw is responsible to focus the lens at the end. And after you put in the fat, all you have to do is carefully to bring it back. You see, here is a big hole and a, and a, and a tiny little one nearby. And um, to bring this in the back direction, remember the big hole fits into this screw. So all we have, we have to do is we set this careful down here. Take care that uh, the ring here, uh, this little this little um, point comes exactly here throughout. Yeah, this is to to open the adapter. You see, this fits in here. Before you put in the screws, press it carefully a little bit so that the ring fits precise and try to turn here. And if you turn this outside ring and you see this little screw is turning, then it seems all okay. The ring is turning, this works. And at the end of course you have, uh, you have here a lot of new fat in, what will not stay at the same place inside by moving the adapter, it will, it will come out. It will come out special at this corner here on top. And uh, the next what I suggest is you you turn it another, I don't know, 200 times, take some Kleenex and, and, and clean a little bit the surface. It might come out there. Um, at mine it did came out a little bit. It was not so much that um, it was really a problem, but it came out a little bit and I tried to, to put with my fingernails here in the corner and clean this a little bit sometimes so I, I did it for I turned it around 200 times or 300 times whatever I played really there um, 10 minutes 15 minutes and, and cleaned it again but at the end uh, it is running very smoothly and much more better than before and now let's try if our little operation was successful I have here another contact contact lens this is a 90 millimeter sonar and I just cleaned it many times. What is important, this screw has to be elastic under the little spring and go inside and outside. And the button, this button here has to be also elastic. If this pose is working and the ring turns, then it looks good. So let's try bring this together here and then let's see if the lens is working yes it is you can see it's running smooth up and down so this ring does adjust now the focus okay it seems that this did work can we open it again yes we can open it again so the adapter now is in a little bit better condition as it was before Yes, and if your little operation was successful at the end, so enjoy it. Um, I hope I could help you a little bit. And I think one of the most important things, in the middle of something like that, if you, be, if you have it open, and something is, runs, doesn't run perfect, so you lose a little screw or something is there, what I, what I figured out is, uh, don't get stressed out. The best is, take a deep breath, Calm down and wait a little bit and watch what happens. Where is the little screw? Where is the little spring? Whatever happens here before you try to fix it very fast immediately. This mostly doesn't work. Keep calm. And yeah, it, uh, when, I, when I opened it the first time and put it together, it didn't work perfectly. So I figured out I did something wrong. I opened it again, did it a second time and then it was perfect. So don't give up. Yeah. Have luck and all the best. Bye.